Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Natalie and I do videos on handbag reviews, unboxings, a bit of luxury eye candy. So if you're into any of those, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you back. So in today's video, I thought I'd take you through my entire Pandora collection. I know Pandora is not really classified as a luxury brand, but I still feel like it's still eye candy. It's still really pretty. And I know a lot of you guys out there love Pandora and I've had a few requests from you guys to do a Pandora collection. So all of my pieces in my collection I've accumulated over many years and they've either been gifted to me as birthday presents or Christmas presents or I've purchased them myself. So I have condensed my collection down. I do still have quite a few pieces but it's nowhere near as what I used to have. I've kind of culled down a few things and I've sold off a few items like earrings, necklaces, rings that I don't really wear that much anymore just because I'm a firm believer in if you're not using something or if you're not wearing something or if you're not enjoying it you should sell it off and use those funds and put it towards something you do love. So I'll go through them in no particular order but I will categorize them into bracelets and rings and so on. So let's start off with bracelets because that's what Pandora is really known for, their charm bracelets. So I've just moved closer to the camera just because I know some of the pieces, particularly the charms, are quite small and detailed so I just wanted to give you a closer look at them. So my very first Pandora piece was an 18th birthday present from my older sister. She's not really my older sister but she's one of my best friends and I look up to her like my older sister. So she purchased for my 18th birthday the very classic Pandora snake chain bracelet or I think it's called like the moments bracelet. So it's just a classic bracelet that Pandora is really known for. Obviously I've accumulated all these charms over the years so she just purchased me the bracelet so just a classic snake chain bracelet and added the 18 charm there so I've got the 18 charm for my 18th birthday and then this little heart spacer charm there. So those two are on the bracelet and I thought that was so nice of her, so sweet. This was my very first Pandora piece and I'd always wanted one but it was always so expensive especially back then when I was still in high school, everyone had these or aspired to have one. So I thought this was so lovely of her to gift this for me and to not only gift the bracelet for me, but to add two charms to it. So that was really sweet of her and I wore it every single day. And as soon as you have the bracelet, you just want to fill it up and keep adding more charms to it. So for those out there who don't know the Pandora Moments bracelet, I'm sure you all do, but just in case you're not aware of it, it's just a classic silver snake chain bracelet and Pandora sell little charms for any occasion, like any moment, any occasion in your life and you can buy the little charm and add it to your bracelet and then over time you'll slowly fill up the entire bracelet just so you can see all the little memories you have and kind of it's just a little special piece and every bracelet is unique so my bracelet is different to my friends and different to yours so it's a really nice and unique piece to have in your collection and it's a really special piece particularly for people like me who are really sentimental and just love little things like this and it just sparks joy in my life just knowing every little charm has its little memory attached to it or a specific meaning. I just think this is a really special piece and I'll never get rid of this. So I'll go through each of the charms with you now. So obviously I got the bracelet and the 18 and the heart charm for my 18th birthday and I don't remember particularly the order of each of the charms but I'll just go through them one by one. So at the opening of the bracelet there's a little Pandora clasp and all you do is there's a little slit there and you just open it up with your fingernail so you just push in like that and it just un does like so and there's two pieces. So the first thing connected to it is called a safety chain I think. Not only does it keep it secure so if for example you were wearing the bracelet and it you didn't clip it on properly and it came apart it's still hanging on your wrist like that whereas if you didn't have the safety chain the whole bracelet would just come loose and you could lose all your charms they could just easily fall off. So having the safety chain is really good not only for security purposes but also it adds a nice little detail so it kind of just dangles like that and it's just so nice when it's on your wrist like it's like a charm in itself so it kind of like dangles like that so as you'll see throughout I do have a couple of dangly charms but that kind of just adds to it and ties the whole bracelet together so next to the safety chain the first charm I have is the letter N obviously for Natalie and then next to that is a love heart with the Chinese symbol love embossed or engraved into it and then next to that is A for my partner's initial so it's A loves N or N loves A 
So that's kind of corny, but it's really sweet. My partner got it for me for Valentine's Day a few years ago. So I think that's really sweet. And yeah, it just reminds me of us. So that's those three charms there. And next to that, we've got a little doggy and it's got a black spot on its eye. And that's just because my partner used to have a childhood dog called Patch. And I absolutely loved him. He was so adorable. He was so cute. He's a little Jack Russell. And so when he passed away, I got this charm just to remember him by. He didn't have a black patch on his eye, but I thought that little spot was really cute just to remind me of little Patch. So I've got that there. And then next to Patch, I have a giant Parve stone paw. So this one here just is really sparkly. So it's a giant paw. And that's just to remember my brother's late golden retriever. He had really big paws and unfortunately he passed away last year as a little pup so I just yeah I absolutely loved him. I love golden retrievers so this was something I wanted to add to my collection and he was pretty much like my nephew. My brother's dog is like he doesn't have any kids, he's not married but I just thought of him as my little nephew so I just wanted to remember him by adding this little charm to it. So next to Doug's paw we have a little cherry blossom clip so as you know, I love pink and I love cherry blossoms. I love Japan. So I had to add a cherry blossom to my bracelet. And this is actually a clip, so it's actually in place. So you clip it on with the charm bracelets. There's two little grooves on the bracelet where you put clips on and that's just to keep it secure, like keep all the charms secure. So if, for example, you only had a few charms, you could keep them in the center and the two clips there. So I've got the one cherry blossom there and another one there. You could just keep your charms and that just keeps them in place in the center. Otherwise, if you didn't have the two clips, your charms would just roll around if it wasn't full. So that's the purposes of those clips there. So I've got the two cherry blossoms and just to add a bit of pink and color to my bracelet. So the bracelet and all of the charms are made out of sterling silver with the exception of some that have added cubic zirconia stones or 14 karat gold or enamel in them. So there's a wide variety that Pandora offer. So there's always something that you'd love. So now moving on from the first cherry blossom clip, I have the 18 charm there and the love heart, as I showed you earlier from my older sister. And then next to that, there's a little money bag with the Chinese symbol for fortune. So it's just a little lucky good fortune wealth charm and I believe I got that for my 21st as well so some of my uni friends got me a bunch of things and this was one of them so that's really nice and then next to that I've just added a little pave just a simple charm there's nothing to it it's just all pave stones and I thought that just tied in nicely with the giant pave stone paw so kind of I do like to kind of match it up and have a bit of sparkle throughout so I've got that one there and then next to that, I've got a little bow. So this is a bow charm and I got this, I got two of them. I gifted one to one of my best friends. So she has a bracelet too. And I just wanted to add a little charm that symbolized our friendship. So this little bow there. So she has one and I have one of mine. So next to the bow, we've got a little heart padlock with a 14 karat gold key. So this is real 14 karat gold. And the padlock is just sterling silver. But I think that's just like a really cute touch. It just dangles off like that. And this was from my cousin. So she purchased this because she knows I absolutely love Pandora. And this was such a nice gift from her. So it's got the gold there and the silver. And you know me, I love mixing metals. So I love wearing gold and silver together. So that just ties in perfectly. And I think it goes so well with the pink enamel on the cherry blossom. So next to my second cherry blossom clip, I've got... A charm that's just a bunch of daisies all around it and it's also made out of that same parve cubic zirconia stones so that just ties in with all the other cubic zirconia pieces throughout the bracelet so that was something that i just purchased as a decorative piece and then next to that i have a dangling 21st charm so that matches with my 18 charm at the bottom there and this was also a gift from friends so for my 21st birthday and then next to it i have a stack of books so it's really cute it's like a three books stacked together and it's got a little owl on it and at the back it says study so i purchased this one for myself back when i graduated from high school and got into the university that i wanted so i just wanted something to remember all the hard work that i did 
in high school in VCE just to get into the uni so that's something that yeah I wanted to remember. So next to the stack of books I've got a little owl and he's got a little graduation cap on and I purchased this for myself when I graduated from uni and obviously I wasn't as into Pandora as I used to. I was already into luxury items by then but I still wanted to complete my stack and I wanted to add something special to remember my graduation ceremony for so that's something that I've added and his chest is just filled with the cubic zirconia stones too. And then the very last charm on my bracelet is, as no surprise, it's a handbag. So it's just got a little bow on it with cubic zirconia stones on the bow. So it's just a little handbag because obviously I'm a huge handbag lover. I love luxury handbags and yeah, that's just, I needed that to complete my collection. So that's my entire moments charm bracelet from Pandora. I absolutely love this. I know a lot of people, once they fill up a whole charm bracelet, they purchase another one and fill it up again. And I know some people also like to put charms from when they travel. In specific countries, they offer a unique charm just to that country. So if people are traveling and they go to that country, they like purchasing their unique charm and adding it to the bracelet. So having like a little travel bracelet. So there's so many ways that you could customize a bracelet to suit your lifestyle and what you love. This is such a great piece for like a 16th birthday or 18th birthday present and over the years during special occasions, Christmas time, birthdays, you can slowly add to the charm bracelet. It's just amazing how one jewelry piece can take you through memory lane and spark so much joy by just looking at it. So I think Pandora really hit the nail with this one and obviously they're so popular because of this charm bracelet. So yeah, I'm really glad I have this collection and I'm really happy with my charms. So the second bracelet that I have from Pandora is the tennis bracelet. So it's just this very dainty bracelet. It's got cubic zirconia stones all along the top there. And what's really unique about this bracelet is the closure of it. So it's just like a little pull closure. So to tighten it, you just pull the little ball and to loosen it you just pull it down and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous like it just really glistens in the light it's so shiny and it's just so pretty it's obviously not diamonds it's just cubic zirconia but I just find it's so nice so it's really dainty really feminine and that's what I absolutely love about it and I love how it just hangs off your wrist when you've got it on I do also have the matching earrings to this so they're just stud earrings with the same cubic zirconia stones and I'll show you that a bit later but yeah, I absolutely love this piece. It's so gorgeous. So the next three bracelets I have from Pandora are actually bangles. And the first one I have is from one of their Christmas collections. They did a gift with purchase. So if you spent over a certain amount, I think it was like $120 or $150 on Pandora items, you would get a gift with purchase and it would be this bangle. And this one here has a little star on the clasp. So it's just in the cubic zirconia stones all around it. And on the other side, it just says Pandora. So it's got the same clasp opening as the bracelet. So you just open it like that and just detach the bangle and then just put it over your wrist. And you can put charms on the bangle, but I just prefer to keep it plain. I just like the simplicity of it. And because it is a smoother surface compared to the charm bracelet, where it's kind of like a snake chain, because this is smooth, I find that charms just roll around really easily. So I just prefer leaving it plain like that. And I just like stacking it with other pieces. So that's the first bangle. The second bangle that I have is a mesh style bangle. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell the texture, but it's just like a nice mesh material. It's really white and really shiny. So I love that about it. And it's just a very similar clasp to the other bangle that I had. So it's just the circular Pandora clasp, but this one just has Pandora on both sides. It's not the limited edition one like with the star for Christmas. So this one is just the mesh bangle and I love stacking this one too. And then my last bangle is a fairly recent purchase. I got it earlier in the year and I absolutely love it. It's the wishbone bangle so it's kind of got that V shape to it. And this one has a different opening so it just looks like a solid silver bangle. But as you'll see on one side there's like a little clasp or little push mechanism. And all you do is just push that and then it comes apart like so and then you can put it over your wrist. So I just love the way it looks. It's very dainty and just very feminine. I love the wishbone, like that V shape. And all you do is just clip it back and it's securely on. 
So yeah, this is my last bangle in my collection. So now that we've gone through all the bracelets that I have from Pandora, let's talk about the rings. So not only is Pandora really known for their bracelets and charms, but they're really known for their rings too. You can really just create your own style by stacking them the way that you like. So I have quite a few rings and I used to have way more as I said, but I've sold them off just because if I'm not wearing them or if they don't really suit my lifestyle anymore, I just, I've just sold them off. So the very first ring that I got from Pandora was the birthstone ring. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's just got the amethyst stone because I'm a February baby and it actually matches my top. I didn't, I didn't plan for that, but it's just like a nice amethyst stone in the middle. And this was all the rage back in high school. Like I remember everyone had this ring, everyone had their birthstone and it was just a thing to have. So I was so glad to finally add this piece to my collection. The band's really nice too, so it's just like a bauble ring and it just looks really, really nice on. So you could either wear it plain, but obviously with Pandora, you want to stack them just because it kind of gives it a bit more edge and adds a unique touch to it. So the next few rings I have are stackable rings. I'm not sure if that's the correct terminology that Pandora uses, but they're classified as just the plain simple bands that you can stack with other rings. So the first one I have is just a simple band and it's actually made out of all little hearts. They're just like little hearts, like little row of hearts all around it. So this is like a nice piece to stack. The second ring I actually have two of just because I find that they're really pretty to stack with other rings and it's just the simple bauble ring. So two of those and I just think that they're really pretty to stack together. Like if you have one ring and for example, my birthstone ring if I had that together like that it just looks really pretty like it just makes it look like a thicker ring like a thicker band so I just love having the two rings like that and at first I was kind of like do I really want to be spending money and buying two of the same ring but I find that it just adds so much more character to the ring so if I just had the one it's it's okay it's still pretty but having the extra one on it just makes it look so much prettier and more of a statement piece. So I love having these two in my collection. And then the last stackable ring that I have in my collection is just a plain silver ring with little cubic zirconia stones all throughout it. So it's just really simple, dainty and pretty. So I often wear this on its own, just a simple ring kind of on my index finger like that, or it's really easy to stack too. So that's what I love about these stackable rings. They're really thin and really dainty so you could either wear them on its own or stack them really easily too. So the next two rings I have actually match my wishbone bangle and these were items that I received as a birthday present from a friend of mine and it was way before I'd purchased my wishbone bangle so she obviously knew I loved the style and so this is the first ring so it's just a plain silver ring and it's just got the little balls on the front just for a bit of texture and then the other one's just a plain sterling silver ring so it's just a silver band and just together they just look really really nice just stacked on top of each other it's so kind of just like that and yeah I think that just looks really pretty and having it with the wishbone bangle just completes the look and I absolutely love that so the next ring I have is a really pretty tiara ring so it kind of curves up it's kind of similar in shape to the wishbone ones in that it goes up but it's so if I was to turn it like that, it's kind of like that V shape, but it's just got the little cubic zirconia stones on top. And I often like wearing this stacked with my Tiffany & Co sterling silver ring just together. And it just looks really, really nice. It's just a really nice, delicate and dainty piece. The next ring I have is a version of the birthstone ring. So I think Pandora have discontinued the birthstone ring and they've revamped it and changed it into this style. This one here is the aquamarine stone and it's just like a nice bright blue color and aquamarine is actually the birthstone for March and my partner's birthday is in March so I thought this was just meant to be. This was my favorite out of all of them. They did have two pink ones but it was either too dark or it was too cloudy. I can't remember the name of those stones but yeah I decided to go with the aquamarine one just because I loved it the best and it was meant to be given my partner's birth month is in March. So yeah, this is the aquamarine stone and it also has the same textured 
bauble on the side so it makes for a great stacking piece too. So my next ring is the only rose gold piece in my Pandora collection and that's the hearts ring. So it's got hollow hearts all around it so it makes up the whole band and this is just so pretty. Like I absolutely love this ring. So you can see it's just like a really dainty piece and you can easily stack it as well. So as I showed you earlier with the two rings that I have, so the same rings, I often just put the rose gold one in the middle and stack the other two on either side and it just makes for a nice statement piece. So that just looks like another ring in itself. So yeah, that's the only rose gold piece in my Pandora collection and I absolutely love it. So we're almost through my ring collection. I just have three more rings to show you and they are more statement pieces. So the first ring I have is the gorgeous freshwater pearl ring. So it's just got the freshwater pearl in the middle and it's just held in place on a simple silver band. And what's really pretty about it is the way the pearl is held in place. So it's got this nice tulip design. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's really pretty and it's so dainty and delicate. So the next ring I have is a mother of pearl ring. So it's a square cut mother of pearl at the front and the way it's cut, it's got all these facets throughout. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it just catches the light. So it just glistens in the light and on the band itself, it's like a spiral texture. So it just adds a little edge to the ring and as you can see it's quite chunky. It's a real statement piece so just wearing it like that and I just love this too. So the very last ring in my collection is my absolute favourite ring in my entire Pandora collection and it's a mother of pearl. So as you can tell I love my pearls, I love mother of pearl particularly and I don't know if you can see this, it's so pretty though I hope you can see it but it's just got like a flower detailing. It's so pretty and it's just surrounded by 14 karat gold ring. Just wearing it by itself is really nice, but as like with all my other rings, I love stacking them, particularly with the two rings. So even though this is really pretty, I think just having these two on either side just elevates the look so much and it just, it looks like it, a whole new ring so I absolutely love those two stackable rings. But yeah this is my absolute favorite out of all my rings. So the very last piece in my entire Pandora collection is a set of earrings. So the earrings that I have are just these very classic stud earrings. So it's just got the three cubic zirconia stones throughout and it's just lined up and they're just so nice and dainty. So if I compare it with my tennis bracelet they came in a set, so it's just so pretty having them together like that. And you could easily wear these. If you have multiple holes in your ears, you could put it in the second hole or the third hole. It's just a really versatile piece. You could have it vertically like that on your ear, or you could put a horizontal and go with the shape of your earlobe. So these are just really classic and timeless pieces and really easy and comfortable to wear just because they are studs. So yeah, these are the only pair of earrings that I have. I used to have a lot more, but as I said, I've sold them off just because if I'm not wearing them, there's no point in me having them. So yeah, these are my only pair of Pandora earrings. So we made it to the end. That's my entire Pandora collection. As I said earlier, I did have a few other pieces like necklaces, other earrings, rings, and bracelets that I've collected over the years, but I have since then sold them just because I wasn't wearing them and I'm really happy with the collection that I have now. That's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and join me for future videos. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.